What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome to a little death trap. I got uh, an older PC put together and I'm ready to start playing some PC gaming again. I'm still not where I want to be, so I apologize for the audio and video quality, as uh, they're not going to be spectacular until I can get things rebuilt. A uh, special thank you to everyone who uh, helped me out by donating on my GoFundMe page to help me uh, get things recovered just a bit. Uh, you can check that out in the link below and uh, head on over there and give me a little bit of help if you can. Anyway, let's jump right on in. We're going to start a new character, starting right from the beginning with the Sorceress. Juice set. Save already exists. Whatever. I did pop in and take a look at it. So this is not uh, completely blind as I did play through the first level. But let's go ahead and get things started with you set here. In the other world that we call the Ink, there are islands in the void. Islands in the void. Places where the ancients built strongholds to keep the monsters at bay. The first swarm burst out of the Ink Heart ages ago. And the beasts kept coming back. During each cycle, they tried to break through to the everyday world. Who oh, knows? But the vicious traps around the portals took care of them. Vicious the traps, that's what I'm talking about. Into ruins since the last cycle. Still, a prophecy says that the next swarm will come soon. Yeah, I bet. I have been trained for that moment since I was a child. All trained up, and ready to go. To refine my mystic powers, I had no idea how accurate this prophecy had been. The portal that brought me here vanished, and I heard the sound of the chaos portals opening. Oh, she is. The cycle has begun, and I'm here alone to stop it. Alright, so there we go. Let's hop on in. The Sorceress is, uh... Now, I haven't played with the other the other classes yet, but, um... I'm liking when I see the Sorceress. I did pop in and check out the first level here, which I'm going to do right now. And, uh, her primary, or left click, is going to be, um, a nice little ice bolt with some freeze action. Let's on hop on into the map, and we can, uh, take a look at it. Did I hit casual? I think I may have hit casual. Let's do this. No. Let me see. I want to get back. Is upon the world. I want to get back out and double check and make sure I didn't hit casual there. I want to at least play through it on normal. Nope, it looks like it was on normal after all. Oh well, what can you do? What can you do? Alright. My craft is ready to scorch. So let's go ahead and get things set up. We see the uh the old red line. Which of course is uh telling us the direction that the mobs are gonna flow. Start off with a gun tower there. Go with a ground trap here, as this is going to be kind of the point where all three paths are going to convulge. Now, the special abilities I've got transmutation charm, which is going to make a, a individual trap generate more essence, and then I've got icy wind with all enemies, it's going to take 275 damage. Hell yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see, let's go ahead and get this gun built too, just because that's going to cover that main area as well. Let my mana get regened here. And there we go, let's get things started. The, um, the gun sentries are cool. It's kind of, uh, you know, the Van Helsing era version of a machine gun. Now you see my little ice bolt here has got the nice freeze on it. And then BAM! The lightning, of course, is an AoE. Let's check out uh, my special abilities. I want to 
give this gun sentry the uh, ability to collect a little bit more essence. And then the icy winds. Not too bad. Wave one is complete. What is this one? Three waves, I think. Yeah, three waves. We're on wave two now, and we see this side over here is opening up. So good thing we got that gun sentry there. Let's go ahead and get the old acid geyser here. Hmm, do I want another gun sentry? I think I'll just go ahead and throw another gun sentry there as well. And... That's it. Let's just go ahead and get things started. I'm going to save the rest of the essence that I have. Get a little buff on that gun sentry to gather up some more essence. As soon as we get the map completely full of baddies, then I'll, uh, I'll hit that icy wind, as I think I'm positive, but I believe it affects everything on the map. We've got quite a few baddies out there now. Let's go ahead and throw that icy wind, and yep, it looks like it uh, does do a bit of damage to everybody out there. We see on the mini-map, they're starting to make it through around to this other side. So let's go over here and get a little assist. You know, the first level, so of course not going to be uh, overly difficult. This little uh, Cobalt Tusker's a toughie. That was it for wave two. See, I got another 200 essence to spend. Of course, I can't upgrade my gun sentries yet as I haven't unlocked any of the upgrades. But we see we got uh, we got baddies coming through this side now. And let's get a little acid geyser going there. We still got 163. I might as well just go ahead and spread some traps around to assist in all the meanness. 113 left. Let's see, we'll throw another... Uh, we'll throw an acid geyser here. And then an acid geyser, geyser over here as well. All right, we've already got an acid geyser there. Let's throw another one right here. I'll stay and go ahead and proud. get things started. Haven't taken a whole lot of damage yet to check out uh, how much your health potion restores. Let's get up in here and get hit a couple times. Pop a health potion. Well, it got me all the way up from that point. Baby's getting rolled. And here comes the boss. My soul. Oh yeah, we got baddies all up in here now. I like that freeze. I think it uh, might be a little bit OP for the sorceress. Now I haven't checked out the other classes, but uh, I bet the sorceress is one of the most commonly used because of that. It adds a bit of control. Very nice. And then here comes the boss. He's probably getting owned. Yeah, he is. My craft. You're dead ba bam bodies. Dead boss. Alright, so I got the two stars. We can't, um... Ooh, we got the chest. Some schematics. And some random goodness.
not too bad. Now, uh, now we're, we've got a couple of skill points to use, and I can get some of those trap upgrades. New points available. Very nice. So let's see what we got. First off, did we get any loot that's an upgrade? We've got these schematics, which uh, nothing I can make yet. We didn't really get the greatest loot there. And let's see, what do we want to do? I'd kind of like to bump up my ice bolt a little bit, I'm thinking. What can we give at chilling bolts? Increases the flow, the slow effect, and increases damage. And then channel bolts recharges mana when it hits an enemy. That's pretty. That's pretty huge right there. I'm thinking, thinking I'm gonna have to go with it. And then of course we can always up the ice bolt itself. I've got two more points left. Let's go ahead and up. Uh, we'll up the damage of the ice bolt itself. Surge of power increases the length of lightning bolts and grants them a chance to kill enemies instantly. Holy bejesus. Decreases the mana cost of lightning spell and increases the stun time. Um, I'm thinking the sorceress is going to be a CC and machine. And then of course armor and... I'm not going to worry about the armor or the mana regen yet. Let's go ahead and just go with the chilling. And then traps. What can we do with our traps? We've got uh, eight points there as well. Now I'm going to use uh, the gun sentry heavily, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase some upgrades there. The first one I want to do is this AoE for certain. We'll upgrade the damage, the base damage itself. And another slow. That will uh, add even more control. See, I've got one point left. Thirty percent vulnerability against physical damage. Let's go ahead and spend that last point in there. And then that's going to do it for this episode. So thanks for watching. There is a look at level one, which is Darkmoor of Death Trap. Thanks again. We'll see you soon and be back more some Death Trap. I'm excited to see what this game brings. Uh, of course, I love the tower defense and I like this whole Van Helsing era. So uh, it should be exciting. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.